Welcome to Day 5's play at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, California. The final day of round robin play. The teams will be jockeying for position for uh, their the medal matches on the final day on Saturday. A look at our standings as we go into the day. And it's Korea and the USA as expected leading the pool on 10 points with Belgium close behind on 9. Canada, France and Mexico complete our table with France and Mexico in the already determined in the final 5-6 game on Saturday. Our schedule for today sees the first of two games that we'll see over the next couple of days between France and Mexico. Our middle game of the day, an intriguing battle between Belgium and Korea. A win for either side puts them into the final. Korea have the draw on their side. And the final game of the day, the USA play Canada, where a point will secure a place in the final for the host nation USA team. So let's have a look at how the action played out in today's play. Our first game of the day saw France play Mexico, and the French took an early lead in the fifth minute with a penalty corner goal scored from an acute angle by Philippine Burley. Twelfth minute, the French go further ahead with Apolline Rougeau finishing a neat play to put France 2-0 ahead. It was more France, 25th minute, a goal by Juliette Parent, but you have to question the legitimacy of the free hit being played into the circle without the ball having travelled five metres. Mexico came back in the 27th and scored a nice goal on the backhand from a fine angle. Jesus Castillo Marine with a field goal in the 27th minute. But more France, Juliette Parent scoring her second goal of the game with another deft touch in the 28th minute, much to the dismay of the Mexican defenders and a penalty corner goal for France in the 31st minute finished the scoring in the half for a France lead 5-1 at half time second half more penalty corner goals a second goal for Philippine Berli in the 61st minute and the scoring finished in the 65th a hat-trick for Juliette Parent off a clever free hit situation in the front France 7 Mexico 1 and so to our Korea-Belgium game. The winner takes all Korea with the draw on their side to qualify for the final. And it was Mi Hyun Park in the fourth minute that gave the Koreans an early lead. The Koreans came out all guns blazing, but a good save from the Belgian goalkeeper preventing Belgium going into a 2-0 hole. Korea did create many, most of the early opportunities. Belgium saved by the post on this occasion. Belgium, as the game went on, started to get more and more into the contest and indeed began to create opportunities of their own and this one unfortunately running off the back line but most of the play initiated from Sophie here at centre half for Belgium and Barbara Nealon would wish to have done better with that opportunity to equalise the score. Belgium struggled to build a ball out of the back at the start of the half but as the game grew on became more and more confident that they were able to play on the same level as the Korean team and you began to sense that an upset may be in the making. But Korea being the confident team they are, they kept applying pressure and perhaps on occasions were unable to get a little bit more return for their efforts. But the Belgians stuck to their task and Sophie Hirtz was in almost everything and here almost scoring the equalising goal for the Belgian team. But Mi Hyun Park coming through for the Korean side creating a lot of the opportunity for Korea but unable to go ahead. It was not until the second half that Mi Young Yum scored the second goal for the Koreans on a on a somewhat of a deflection. But Belgium straight back down the other end and Sophie Hitz getting them on the scoreboard for a 2-1 scoreline. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Three goals in two minutes. The Koreans taking the pressure out of the game with a Third goal by Yong Yun Kim in the 44th minute. Belgium, to their great credit, carried on. They, they needed now four goals to equalise. And they did have some opportunities, but were unable to, unable to take them when the clock was on their side. But they carried forward, they pushed forward, and it was Sophie Hirtz again in the 58th minute that gave them another lifeline. 3-2 to Korea. Mi Hun Park on the back line. And another post save from Kim Yong Yoon. Again, Korea coming forwards. Again, Kim Yong Yoon unable to put the game away. And there was a moment where Belgium 
sensed that they were going to be able to score the four goals. Sophie hits the ball, landing at the right player, but taking the wrong, op wrong option coming into the circle, and ultimately the chance went begging. Korea were good enough to put the game away, although they did miss opportunities at the death, and Belgium with the 3-2 loss out of the tournament and career it is that advanced to the final. And the final match of the day, USA playing Canada. USA already having qualified for the final by virtue of Korea beating Belgium. So the result in this is not really of great interest other than the fact that both teams wanted to play well. And it was the USA who got off to a good start. Evans with an opportunity in the early going and Lawback with a penalty corner or a variation that goes to Dawson, and Dawson it is that puts the US ahead after clever variation going to the one left, and Dawson getting the deflection in front of the goalkeeper. Some clever play from the Canadians into the front, but Katie Gillis would expect to have done better given that situation. USA having the majority of the uh, ball in the front and the lion's share of possession throughout the game, but unable to further extend their lead with some dogged defending from Canada, getting numbers into the defensive circle and preventing the US from scoring and creating some frustration but Rachel Dawson it was on her 100th cap scoring her second goal a brace of goals for Dawson and uh, a great way to celebrate her 100th cap and somewhat fortunate to not be penalised for receiving the ball over her shoulder here much to the dismay of the Canadian players and USA threatened to go further and further ahead and really break the game open but the 2-0 scoreline remain for a large period of the game. Katie Reinprecht was one of the standout performers for the USA and Jesse Guy starting to find some form in the front as the US win a penalty corner in the second half. But to the Canadian credit, they persevered and persisted but were unable to get any return until the very, very end of the game. And the US, it was somewhat fortuitously getting a goal rebounding off the umpire and the ball staying in the field of play and Jesse Guy doing what is required to put the ball in the back of the net. And Guy is again with a deflection, nearly scoring a superb goal to give the USA a 4 0 lead. But some careless defending, rugby tackling in the backfield from the US defence provides the Canadians with an opportunity to get a 3 1 scoreline, and that was the final score. So the round robin phase is complete at the World Cup qualifier, and France a convincing victory over Mexico 7 1. Belgium, a hard-fought struggle with Korea, ending up on the losing side, 3-2 to Korea. And the USA, reasonably comfortable winners, having already qualified for the final, 3-1 over Canada, conceding their first goal with 17 seconds left to play. The Canadians scoring right at the death for a 3-1 scoreline. And the final standings in the pool, it's Korea and USA into the final on 13 points apiece. Belgium pushed Korea all the way to the limit, but we'll play Canada in the 3-4 game and we will see a repeat of today's match with France playing Mexico in the 5-6 contest. There's a recap of the games that we'll see on Saturday, April the 3rd, which will determine the winner of the World Cup qualifier and, of course, the team that will qualify to go to Argentina to play in the World Cup come September. Mexico... France in the 5-6 game, our first game of the day. Belgium versus Canada in the 3-4 match. And the big match of the tournament. Korea, number 11th in the world, playing the host nation USA, number 10. Please join us for the live text commentary at usafieldhockey.com and stay up to date with the placing matches on Saturday, April the 3rd via the Twitter and Facebook page for USA Field Hockey. Thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you for finals day come Saturday. Bye for now.